please welcome Letao Paul Manaya.
Thank you. Let's have Paul Manaya. Rihanna. The sarong is a one-piece, two-yard fabric creatively tied to enable the contestants to swim. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our first contestant for the sarong, Miss Rematz Fashion, Debbie Terry Esene. Debbie's orange and yellow sarong depicts the sunrise of a new day in North Island. It can also represent the golden sunset. The turtle buckle, which connects the top to the bottom, signifies the link between the old and new ways of our Samoan culture. And to top off her sarong is the bird of paradise by Pa'ase, which adorns her hair. This swimwear was designed and put together by Remat Fashion. Thank you, Miss Remat Fashion. Please welcome on stage contestant number two, Miss Veronica's Agnes Warren. Miss Veronica's sarong is blue, symbolizing the ocean which surrounds our beautiful island. With corals outlining the bottom part of the sarong, signifying the importance of our reefs, which are home to sea life that provide for our daily living. Agnes Sarong was hand-printed by her fashion house, Veronica's. Thank you, Ms. Veronica's. Let's now welcome on stage your contestant number three, Ms. Samoa Local Style, Isabel Chadwick. has embodied the colors of the classical tropical paradise and a sarong theme is the beauty of the sunset. The colors depict how paradise is amplified when there is a sunset, displaying the wonders of God's creation. With the colors gold, red, and orange, Isabel takes us to that magical moment before dusk to remember that while the sun sets and the day has come to an end, we should always reflect on the beauty of the moment and the promise of yet another paradise in tomorrow. Thank you, Ms. Samoa Local Style. And now welcome on stage, contestant number four, Ms. Samoa Australia, Muliangatele Renera Thompson. Renera has opted for an elegant and conservative tie. The theme of her sarong is Pasao Matsai Fale of My Samoa. The once well conserved Tonga Tongo or mangrove is a reminder that we must contribute to preserve our environment. Our mangroves are where our sea life is bred and nurtured. Turtles, crabs, and fish all provide sustenance for the Samoan family. The color yellow depicts cheerfulness and opens the way for the creation of nature. 
It is also a color of energy and encouragement. Muliang Atele Renera Sarong was inspired and designed by Sinta's collection of Samoa. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Samoa Australia. Introducing contestant number five, Ms. Apia Insurance Company, Susana Fanweli. by the ocean, Susana Sarong is called Oceania, encompassing the land, the ocean, and the sky. The ocean and its resources are sustenance for our people. The ocean as a highway draws from ideas of the late professor Ebeliha Opa that our Polynesian people journeyed on canoes across the sea to connect with one another, allowing for the exchange of ideas, handicrafts, dances, songs, myths, and legends. The motifs are taken from the land, the ocean, and the sky. The sand symbolizes the land and footprints of our ancestors. The ocean is where they journeyed on using canoes, while the sky depicts the stars they used to navigate the vast Oceania. Susana Sarong was hand-painted and designed by Berenice Bebe from the Visual Arts Program at the National University of Samoa. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Ahia Insurance Company. Please welcome on stage contestant number six, Ms. Mahalani's Island Wear, Tegan Martha Moore. <laughs> is turquoise, representing the color of the ocean. The seashells printed on her sarong symbolize the richness that lies within our island's environment, culture, values, and tradition. It is tied in a simple yet elegant way to allow practicality during sunbathing. Ms. Mahalani's Island Wear. Let's welcome on stage contestant number seven, Miss International Immigration Travel, Anastasia T.T. Smith. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, tell it Anastasia T.T. Smith, Ela A. Lona Sarong, Lava Lava, it's a Elea Ilesami, Elua Lanu Olo Oyela Eina, Olelanu Pai Pae, Malelanu Riuli, Olelanu Pai Pae, Olo Ele Eina, Ileta Tau Samoa, Ole Fai Loma Lena, Oleta Tu, Malama Nubu Fa Samoa, Eatangi Ai, Leta Tau, Ole Pea, Ledi Samoa. Ole ni la eina sau nia le eveni karadas pa tasi ai malalango lango malosi le sponsor le susunga ya keti moananu. Pa petai mis international immigration travel. Please welcome on stage your contestant number eight, Miss Lavash Kachua, Seutatia Stowers Brown. After a hard day, it's time to hit the beach at sunset. Seuta Atia Sarong is tied so that her skin is protected from the sun. Simply wrapped in a modest way, it's still comfortable to swim in. The Ele or Samoan print chiffon material depicts the beautiful art which enriches the Samoan culture. Each line represents a path that our ancestor traveled to to settle into our beautiful shore. 
The triangles stand as a reminder that our children of Samoa must be neutral so they can become great future ambassadors. This was designed by Tito Smith Stowers and tied by Agnes Stowers of Lavash Couture. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lavas Kichua. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring back all our contestants in their surrounds for one final look. Thank you, girls. Up next is the talent category. Each contestant will showcase an outstanding presentation of a talent which captures the attention of the audience. Tonight, Agnes Warren's proud to perform a mix of island and modern dancing, a hobby she wishes to share with you this evening. And she dedicates this performance to all her families, friends, and supporters. Enjoy.
Style. Anna, as our team sets up for the next contestant, tell me, what's been your personal favorite of the 23rd annual Te Wheeler Festival? Well, I think Te Wheeler this year has been really fantastic. I've enjoyed quite a few many things. I've enjoyed the Argentinian tango group and the Hawaiian chiefs. They were really fantastic. But I really liked the lunchtime shows. <laughs> they were very entertaining. I think everybody did. <laughs> How about you, Dwayne? What was your highlight? For me, I'd have to say the Chiefs Fear Fear was, the, was a highlight of the Tewila Festival this year. I really enjoyed their performances and how they were interactive and provided the opportunity for the audience to follow and understand, especially our visiting friends and families from overseas. And they were a crowd pleaser as well. I think we're just about ready for our next contestant. Presenting contestant number four for our talent, Miss Samo Australia. This is the finest of gifts to be exchanged. The Iatonga or Iolemalo. It is received with an art form of poetry with courage and with praise by the Tumatai Samoa. It is called the Sulatonga. Let me chant, not with the whisper of my lips, but from the voice of my soul for everyone to hear. Let my chant be heard with the rise of the sun. Let the heavens bear witness to the honor and glory that is yours. This is my chant 
of gratitude and appreciation. Susana's talent is the art of storytelling or whangongo, interwoven with dance or siva. Storytelling is an age-old art that grandmothers and grandfathers used to disseminate knowledge of genealogy, mythology, and ancestry. Miss Apia Insurance Company. to remember is that the main pageant judges are looking for that one outstanding girl who performs well overall. The interview and talent are always, always very important elements and personally whoever does well there should be in with a good chance in my opinion. Presenting contestant number seven for her talent, Miss International Immigration Travel. Anastasia <laughs> Ole 
na chal chow ai samo e a so ma bai ai pang a le wo fa chu na i le wo samo wo le o chu fa nga i na wo fa nga le lo shin le pei pi o yo ai a le shen pu at pa lang e geos o le a la le o pi pi si a le ma fa ma wo se le ai le u chu fa u to u lu ma o chu tin yeah, I know what. Who still allows the sila? Allow my more. Only out of Fatino in now. They will some more. More more. It's someone a lava ni popo. E am a tie low low. Lua. Who lay out any lava out of nong? Your child of a no. E am no master to pay out white. I am a mosoi. Am a nong. O te fati se li aina se fan fa manongi Lei fifi Koi koi ang ngi Oka Kama nga E i i lai lava sa ngai miti Ai ale malwe te ne i titi Se apa fano ma Au le lei pe yo a Ai le oto Ma i a lava le pe pe Ma awa ne i ngalu Se la au if it's busy, 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 yeah, mama. As I am, why don't you know? So I will get out. Yeah, to do some little bit, baby. But I'm not alone. Yeah, mama, my love, my love, my fire, my love. Yeah, I'm not alone. It's all not too late, lah. In a year, so sad, lah. In a bed, so look good. Are you off for a farmer sing while I go for my little ship? Oh, what am I going to come out for my lord? I see how I've seen them. If I'm a child, I'm a non man. I am. I say, I let out for why? What was a baby? Come over for me. All of us, my own. I asked it out, Salah. Set out both. Say, so I meet you. What you eat alone at Tino if I'm. Ay, ala umad. O les pa'y me asin na sa amo. E, ay, kukay ma wo. E, inko umad pa'y yo. O sa bala watu ma lo falo alo ay pa'y. Sa ama yo sin na pese. Ay, sa yo si ba. Se wo mi mi tse la ve la me asin na. Le wo sa amo! Presenting our final contestant for her talent, Ms. Lavash Kochoa. Seotatia's talent is a showcase of the basics of the Samoan Siva. Performed gracefully, gracefully from head to toe, the extension of arm and hand movements, the smile while conveying a story through dance.
We do proceed to the next category, which is the Buletasi. We'd like to welcome everyone who is watching tonight's event through the live stream internet service kindly provided by Blue Sky, one of our major sponsors. Talo Falaba, wherever you are watching from around the globe. And we will now proceed directly into our next category, which is the Pulitasi, the formal Samoan attire for any occasion. Introducing contestant number one. Her designers have again used orange hand painted hibiscus flowers, bursting forth with sunlight, promising a new day full of mystery and hope. Black signifies the darkness or turbulent weather associated with natural disasters, which are becoming more common due to, due to global warming, especially in our Pacific region. Her flower, or say, is an orange hibiscus, which depicts the sunrise in our beautiful islands. Debbie's Pulitasi was designed and put together by Remet Fashion. Fashion, Debbie Terry is in it. Introducing contestant number two for her Pulitasi. tradition of Samoa. Its origin goes back thousands of years before European contact. The Tatao cannot simply be defined by its patterns, their names and meaning, or by the person who wears it, the Songai Miti, or by the artist who created it, the Tufunga Ta Tatao. To understand the Tatao and its full meaning is to understand all of these elements and how they all work together in the Fa Samoa. The patterns and the structure of this tau is printed on the white parts of the outfit, highlighting its intricate designs. Ms. Veronica proudly presents this important part of Samoa's culture. The outfit was designed to accentuate her slender figure, and it can be worn to church or as an evening gown. Thank you, Ms. Veronica, Agnes Warren. Introducing contestant number three for her Pulitasi. is versatile, melding both the cultural symbol that it is and the sophistication that an evening gown exudes, which is what Isabella tonight wishes to portray. 
The black used on Isabella's pulitasi imp implies self-control, discipline, and a strong will. It also symbolizes things that are sacred and taboo, which we as women keep close to our hearts. The golden cultural symbols that run through this dress signify the importance of culture, which illuminates and enhances all other things. Gold is associated with higher ideals, wisdom, understanding, and enlightenment. With this unique combination of color and design, Isabella's evening gown wishes to send out its own message that against the black sleek beauty and the mysterious air of power and control, the confident, passionate, and eye-catching markings of culture draws attention to itself. Sabor Loco Style. Introducing contestant number four for her Pulitasi. Its pearl and earth colors depict the natural beauty of the Tsumaitsai Samoa. The significance of weaving is the highlighted talent of the Samoan woman in many of our cleverly crafted essentials. Foremost are two matafayoi or duties of the Samoan woman. To weave the falamoe or sleepy mat which can be found in every home of a Samoan family. And the yatonga or fine mat which is the richest of gifts to be exchanged. The Samoan government has emphasized the importance of weaving the Ietonga, which we are encouraged to pass on to our future generations. Perilae is complemented by river shells from our own waters. Her hair piece is adorned with the lau ie, or natural fiber, complemented with coconut shell buttons. Muliang Atelere Reneres Pulitasi was inspired and designed by Sinta's collection of Samoa. Thank you, Miss Samoa Australia. Introducing contestant number five for her Pulitasi. of the malu, or traditional Samoan woman's tattoo. The malu is a traditional tattoo that a Samoan woman receives on her thighs. In the past, the malu was essentially the traditional clothing of a Samoan woman, as is with a tattoo on a Samoan man. The motifs signify her role as a woman in Samoan society. The malu is sacred, or mersina Samoa. Susanna's outfit depicts the essence of the true lae or tsumaitsai Samoa, which she wears with pride, signifying its cultural significance. Susanna's pulitasi tells the story of the evolution of the Samoan pulitasi and the journey of the tsumaitsai Samoa through various expressions of styles we enjoy today. Susanna emerges as an elegant and intelligent modern-day Tausala Samoa, representing her family, her ancestors, and her Fa'asinomanga. The Pulitasi was designed and put together by Sofai Creation, an Apia insurance company. Thank you, 
Thank you, Susanna Fanwelli, Ms. Afia Insurance Company. Introducing contestant number six for her Pulitasi. Pulitasi, Tegan chose the less is more concept. Known to women with class when they attend formal functions, elegance and classy are essential. Miss Mahalani's Island Wears Pulitasi is just that. From the choice of color to the selected cut of the tire, all were carefully chosen to ensure Tegan's evening gown will be an attention seeker in every way. The simple cut accentuates the fact that Tegan's body together with her presentation and grace, makes her a worthy ambassador of Samoa. As a strong believer in God, Tegan reflects her devotion to Christianity and our culture through faith, honesty, and upholding the values of Tsumaitai Samoa. This beautiful garment and accessories are creations of Mahealani's island wear. Thank you, Ms. Mahalani's Island Wear, Tegan Martha Moore. Please welcome on stage contestant number seven for her Pulitasi. Fia Fia Tele Anastasia Ela Eina Lona Pulitasi Sa Moa Peona Yela Eina Elua Lanu Olo O Yampa Ongaina Olelanu Sama Sama Yellow Gold Malelanu Liuli Black Lelanu Sama Sama Olefa Ilonga Lea Ole Susulu Mata Mo Fie Ole Mata Ole La O Falling Aba Aya Ye Ole Alofa Moni Olo Tata O Tua Lelanu Liuli Olefa Ilonga Lea Ole Sala Mo Moni Loto Fa Mahangalo I may say, Ia Maui Samoa Atoa le Loto Etasi, ma le Loto Mawalalo. O le Apuletasi sa Saunia Masuina, e le Ali'i Filipino e suafa ia Tony and Phil, Sam House of Fashion, o Antonio Flores Baglinawan. Tu fata singo le Nei Apuletasi sa ngad lue fata si ai le sponsor le International Immigration Travel, le Sunga Keiti Moananu, ma le Sunga Tony Phil Sam. Thank you, Ms. International Immigration Travel. Introducing our final contestant for her Pulitasi, Ms. Lavash Kachua. of fashion, Samoa also joins the world in modernizing our Pulitasi. Siltatia's Pulitasi has been carefully chosen and designed to portray her message. The color purple represents humility and forgiveness. The mat or iatonga which adorns the Pulitasi is a symbol of forgiveness or ifonga in the Samoan culture. She believes that through forgiveness, our people can create peace and harmony. Her Pulitasi is designed with these two factors in mind. The long sleeves depict her respect for her ancestors. The mat inspired shawl rests on her shoulders, representing that for whatever wrong or mistake she has done and made in the past, her appearance in this very unique and meaningful Pulitasi is a symbol of her apology. A say of dried flowers, Afa and Farafia, grace her hair to complete her appearance tonight. The Pulitasi was designed and put together by Tito Schmidt Stowers of Lavash Couture.
Thank you, Ms. Lavash Kachua, Seotatia Stowers Brown.